into I'm going to show you the announcement bar and also another really kind of cool feature that's fairly new, kind of rolled out within the past year or so. Um, so we're going to go to marketing and we're going to go under engagement. We're going to go to the announcement bar. So this is a premium feature. We're going to enable it and you're going to see right here, this is an announcement. <clears throat> yellow people so you can put whatever you want in here um, you can put a link open a new window save save and now when I go here I can click on it it'll take me I put CNN as a link just to show you um, let me show it to you on mobile desktop. So that's it. Um, and I don't even think, to be honest with you, I don't think they give you uh, much in the way of being able to modify. Um, yeah, there's, um, unfortunately, there's not much you can do on, uh, to edit this, right? Like, it's really just meant if like all of a sudden there's you know, something that like, is, oh, like here's uh, our, our, our shipping is down today or um, some announcement that you just like <clears throat> you want people to know about immediately. If there's like a flash sale, people happen to be going to your, um, people happen, happen to be going to your site and it's like, you know, a very timely thing. Um, but unfortunately, there's not a lot um, that you can do uh, as far as design wise with this. <clears throat> so we're gonna disable this and I'm gonna show you something else. Um, this being, a, that was a premium feature, which means you have to pay for that particular feature. But here's a, here's a free feature. So if I go to the page, I'm just gonna hit edit. We're gonna add, a, well, we're gonna add a section right here. I'm just going to do a blank section. I'm going to make it really small. Height, small. Boom. Row count, small, one. Now, this I can change the colors on. <clears throat> so I can make it whatever I want. All right, now we're going to add a block. And I'm going to go scrolling. And we're going to hit this little edit button right here. So here I can say um, flash sale. What happened there? What's going on? Does not want to cooperate with me today. Flash sale. Back. And then here, you know, this is you can put anything you want. You say one day only. One day only. Okay. Now then you can link to you can link to um, your the sale that particular flash sale now we got a bunch of other options here let me uh get my head out of the way here we have text size how big do you want it text style you can add a wave what's the size of the wave small wave medium wave large wave you can set the direction the speed, you can put pause on hover, <clears throat> fade the edges, space things out, and then you could set a background. Now we've just rounded, some, rounded the edges on this. So this gives you a lot of options um, that the other pop-up 
uh, announcement bar, excuse me, not pop up, but the announcement bar doesn't give you. Um, so I happen to prefer, to be honest with you, uh, using this one over that one whenever possible. So there is your free tip. Uh, use the scroll function under the, uh, uh, the components, the web components. I would totally use that over the announcement bar. The announcement bar is better, like if it needs to be completely site-wide in like one button, it's on every single page of the website. This you have to add to whichever pages you want. But, um, but it's free, you don't have to pay for it, um, and it definitely stands out more than uh, the regular announcement bar. I hope that's helpful, I'll see you in the next one.